Hey guys, Nilius Julius here, and uh, today we'll be playing a new game. Uh, well, new game, new game for me. Um, we'll be playing Sid Meier's Colonization. As you can see, it's not really a new game. It's from February 7, 1995, version 3.0 of the game. Now I got this game on uh, on GOG.com, and well, I thought it'd be a great game to. Uh, to play, so that's what we're going to do today. Um, now we're going to start a new game. I'll be um, playing in America. We want the original loading map, we want the original America's map. And what can we. Oh, no, oh, I did. Uh, I did not want to do that. Let's get back. America. It's like if you click with your mouse right here, you just go to the next screen. There's no going back. So um, we're playing on the original Americas, and we'll be playing easiest. No, easy. Easy sounds like great, great difficult to start at because I, I've played the game for like 30 minutes or so, so I know a little bit about it, but I'm not good at it. It's pretty, pretty difficult to get the hang of. Um, England. France, Spain, or the Netherlands. Well, I'm from the Netherlands, so Netherlands it is. Um, what's your name? Michiel de Ruiter? No, thanks. Um, Nidius, Pajubius. It's going to be my name. Alright, the Netherlands. The Protestant Dutch provinces gained their independence from Catholic Spain during the Age of Expansion. A maritime country of fishermen and merchants, the Dutch Netherlands operated large merchant and, fish and fishing fleets in the North Sea and the Baltic. Upon achieving political independence in the early 17th century, this tiny nation found itself ideally po uh, poised to expand its overseas territories into lucrative new markets in the Far East and the New World. Unlike, unlike their rivals and sometime enemies the Spanish, French and English, the Dutch were ruled by their merchant class. This unique arrangement led them to focus all aspects of state, diplomatic, military and economic policy around the interests of trade. The strategy proved quite successful and the Dutch economy and merchant fleet expanded so rapidly that the other European powers felt compelled to take drastic measures against the Dutch in order to prop up their own less successful enterprises. So that's the background story we get right here the Netherlands. Um, to represent the strength of the Dutch economy, as well as Dutch achievements in shipping, commerce and banking, the Dutch players receive a bonus when trading with Amsterdam. Commodity prices in Amsterdam do not collapse as quickly as in other European ports and they recover more quickly. So trading is uh, well, easier. <coughs> right, what do we have here? The year of our lord, 1492. An audience with the stadtholder. For the great glory of the Netherlands, we dub the Viceroy of the New World. Go and explore this new land. Settle it and bring wealth and glory to yourself and our nation. Alright, that's what we're going to do, yes. In the year of our Lord, 1492. Um, you can't skip this cutscene, so I have to wait till the next one arrives. Um, an expedition led by the great explorer, Nidius Julius, that's us, yes. Yeah, come on. Left Amsterdam on a voyage of discovery. You can see um, we're on the ship. We're loading the ship. Ship's being loaded. People waving. Yeah. Commissioned and blessed by the stadtholder of the Netherlands. Still loading the ship, I see. Ah, to explore the ocean sea. And there we're going. Setting sail from Amsterdam. To find uncharted lands. And to establish colonies for the greater glory of the Netherlands. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make the Netherlands a great nation. So that ship's going. Oh, still more text. A ship loaded with pioneers and soldiers. Set sail to find a new life. A new beginning. A new world. All right. 
Alright, so that's it. Yes, here we are. We arrived. Um, this is our ship. Uh, as you can see right now, we can't see anything else yet. We haven't explored any, uh, anything yet, so... Let's center on this. I know a few of the shortcuts, the, the hotkeys, but not all of them. Got them open uh, in a browser page right next to me, so I can just take a look if I need to, uh, to, f to find one. Alright, so let's uh, well, sail west to see if we'll find land. Yes, you could already see it a bit. Discovery of the new world. Land ho! What shall we call this new land, your excellency? We wanna call it the New Netherlands? I guess so, New Netherlands it is. Right, now what we have to do is find a nice place to settle. Um, to settle our first settlement. So, going to take a look at what, what is it? This here, let's see. It's right click I think. Prime sugar, so we can get a lot of sugar from here. Um, I wanna take a look, view, European status. <coughs> sugar, 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 where's sugar? Sugar sells for three cash, it's not a lot. You can get a lot by making. What, what do we make from sugar? From sugar we make rum, I guess? Rum sells for a lot, so... Sugar seems like a nice resource to start with. Let's see if we have some, uh, click on the ship again. Um, Dutch merchant. Ah, there's a forest, there's wood next to it, that's... Pretty good. Oh, my turn's up. Five moves each turn. So that's it. Oh wait, this is not a great place to start. It's an island. We don't we don't wanna start on an island. Alright. Um. Oh, there's a village here. It's the Arawak capital. So this is also not a good place to <laughs> to land because well the natives live here. Yeah. Don't wanna go to them. Not yet, at least. Um, well, this is a. Oh wait, I, I see we're in the Caribbean right now. We're playing on a real, real American map, so yeah, that must be it. Uh, there's not a lot of resources around here. And that's uh, something else. Another, another tribe we found here. Oh, what's that? Is that ore? It's minerals. Minerals are pretty good. I want minerals. We can probably settle our village right here. Yes, let's do that. Go to the left. Make landfall. There we are. Um, right, we have our soldiers. Um, now one thing I learned or I read about is you should use your soldiers to found your first colony. And... Use the pioneers to improve the colony. So this is our ship right now. I'm going to explore a bit more just to see what we have around here. All right, that's it. Um, I don't want to use the pioneers. I want to use the soldiers first. Press B and make a colony. First colony will of course be New Amsterdam, of course. Building a colony. So this is the colony screen. Alright, um, now in the colony screen you have this, this uh, your, your colony to the left, so it has all the buildings that are in your colony and you can make, um, you can improve basic goods in here and then sell the wares you make. Um, to the right is the, um, um, the uh, colony um, area, so as you can see right now the middle, uh, the middle part is our colony. It's built on a rainforest and it has a road, and it produces four, uh, three food and one sugar for us. So we're getting yes, we're getting one sugar. We're also getting ah yes, and right here in the bottom right corner, you can see our guy here. This is uh, these are our colonists. Our colonists are currently mining silver, and it mines one silver. Um, every every turn. Um, don't know what else we would have here. Um, 
We could also mine ore. We could mine four ore, in a, ore return. We could get first lumber, silver. All right, so that's what we can get around here. Now here we can also get ores and such. I don't think there's anywhere we can get more silver. No. Silver, silver, no. We can get, only get silver here. Um, and to the left, this is what you get from your uh, from your colony screen. So we can we get three food, one piety thing, and one liberty bell. Um, now I'll explain these later. I'm not entirely sure about what they do exactly yet. I just have a general general idea what they do. Um, as you can see right here, um, the fence is outside of the colony, so on the colony tile, but not actually in the colony are our pioneers at this moment um, all right so what do we want do we want to make ore or silver um, we should view European status silver sells for 19 that's quite a lot or only sells for two so we want silver yes we, we really want silver so right here we're getting silver that's it um, that's what we'll be going for at the start of the game because we want a lot of money. We started with uh, 300 gold. Because we started on easy. Um, so yeah, that's it for now. I'm not really sure what else to explain. Now these colonists should be able to build uh, things and such. Um, they could clear a forest. Build colony, build road. Just going to move them to the left right now. Discovery of the Pacific Ocean. All right. Oh, I see. We discovered. Ah, that's pretty good, actually. All right. So our turn ended, and next turn we get a message: religious unrest in the Netherlands causes increased emigration. Colonists, some expert farmers, are now available in Amsterdam. Expert farmers. Those are pretty good. Uh, we want them because um, you can get regular colonists who have nothing special, or you can get. Um, experts expert in a certain field and they produce more of that resource so yeah we want farmers because you need farmers to sustain more people in your colony um, next message the continental congress will expand during its next session your excellency which founding father shall we appoint as its next member peter minui trade advisor handy hudson exploration advisor Paul Rivera, military advisor, Thomas Jefferson, political, or Juan de Cepeda, religious advisor. Um, I was told to, if you can, get the conquistador, Spanish guy name, I don't know what it is, um, but I don't see him here, so we'll be grabbing the trade advisor, because since we're a Dutch, so we want to trade a lot. Um, Alright, well, we can pick up new uh, expert farmers in Amsterdam, so what I'm going to do is press G with the ship and tell them to sail to Amsterdam. So they'll be automatically setting sail to Amsterdam, and um, let's hope they, uh, they can take the, uh, the colonists with them back on their way home. Alright, so here we have some Dutch pioneers, we'll give them an order to clear, uh, clear the forest, yes. You won't have to clear the forest. Now clearing forests cost tools and you, um, as you can see pioneers have, uh, or as you could see, 100 tools and every order you make them do costs 20 tools and you need to make more tools in order to uh, get them more tools in order for them to make uh, more things. So yeah. Alright, so... We're getting silver, we already got two silver, which is worth a lot of money actually. Um, oh, we have nothing else to do, we can just like end, end the turn. Uh, can we just press here to end the turn? Yes, we can, alright. Now, let's see, anything special happening? No. I think our colony is finished clearing the forest. They're not. No. Still not done with clearing the fo clear forest. Do it. 
Oh, probably because I clicked on them last turn. It, it cancels their order. Pretty bad. Alright, so now we're back in Amsterdam. Because our ship arrived there, we're automatically taking that, taken there. As you can see, here is our ship. It's loading. And here are some Dutch colonists. Now, we don't want to press this because we do want them to get on the ship. Um, we could give them tools, horses, bless them. No, we just want the European. We want the expert farmers. So. We can also recruit some more guys. 160 gold to recruit. Servants, ore miners. Ore miners would be. No, we probably need silver miners for that, I'm not sure. Scouts are pretty good though. Um, yeah, they don't, the ore miners only get extra ore and such. Um, I do want to hire scouts because scouts are supposedly very good. That's what I've read. Mm, you should breed horse, breed their horses or something. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll be getting them. They will be saying to our ship bound for the New Netherlands. Um, yes, steady as she goes. We will be going to the Netherlands. All right. Now we'll say end of turn. Meeting the natives. As you can see, the Indians just moved to our colony and they are um, going to tell us something. The Tupi tribe welcomes you. We are a glorious nation of 13 camps. To celebrate our friendship, we generously offer you the land you now occupy as a gift. Will you accept our treaty and live with us in peace as brothers? Well, at the start of the game, it's probably best to say yes because, as you can see, they have 13 camps and we have one colony not going to work very well. The Tupi welcome peace with our brothers the Dutch. Let us smoke a peace pipe to celebrate our perpetual friendship. <coughs> we hope you will soon visit Tupi villages to share knowledge with us and that you will send your wagon trains to trade with us. Alright, I might. Who knows? Going to end the turn again. Probably, uh, I guess it takes quite a long time for them to clear the forest. The Tupi tribe is pleased to see the progress of our neighbors at New Amsterdam. We have come to offer you 13 sugar in recognition of the everlasting peace between our peoples. Well, that's very generous. Got some extra sugar, alright. And the price of furs in Amsterdam has risen to 5. Alright, well. Ah, our ship is uh, back in the New World, so now we'll press G and say go to New Amsterdam. If we want to unload the. Uh, people here. Alright, ship's going back. Alright, next turn our ship will arrive and they're still clearing the forest. I wonder how long it takes. Alright, so our, our troops arrived here. So we go to the colony and now you can see we have some expert farmers here which we haven't placed anywhere at all. So I'm going to place them well, we can pla we place them right here, we make four food a turn. Four, four, it's pretty much everywhere, four I guess. We can't place them here yet because it's ocean, we need docks first. Now in the mountains we don't get any food so we'll just place them here where they are clearing the forest. We have 21 sugar and 8 silver, alright. Now the scouts, supposedly you can breed horses, but I don't know how to do that, so let's see what we have here. No idea how to breed horses. Probably have to look into that sometime. Um, let's see. Can put him. Can they? Can they work? Oh, we made them. Oh, maybe that's the way. We have horses in our colony now, and maybe they will. Ah, yes, they will breed. Look right here. We're now making two horses a turn. Ah, that's pretty nice. All right, so we got our our scouts of the horses, and now they're just regular uh, regular colonists. As you can see, we have the expert farmers. They make four food a turn and the well normal colonists only make two food so that's why you want the expert farmers 
Let's see what else we can get. We can we could we probably want to get some lumber. So we'll just put them to lumber work, I guess. Not entirely sure. If you right click it so it shows what you can get if you put your people on this uh, on the square, so would we be getting I'm not entirely sure how that screen works yet because it, it's pretty hard to get. If we go to this one and we'll say Lumberjack 4, alright. Really, really not a clue how this works. So apparently, Silver Miner should be getting. be able to get more silver from here? No. But I'm not getting any silver from here. Silver deposit plus two. Silver miner one. Uh, no, I guess I'll have to find it out for now. We'll just have to click and just see what happens. Um. Oh, we're, we're, we're losing one. We're only getting... Why are we getting less horses now? Oh, probably because we're not getting enough food to make more horses, to feed them. Let's see, if we make them farmer, yes, then we get two horses. So we'll just keep them at farmer for now, I guess, because we want to get more horses. Probably. Alright. So let's see, what can we do next turn starting? Alright, so we have a ship here. We can load wares onto our ship, we get um, 9 silver and 22 sugar onto our ship. We have 52 horses, oh we could be making a lot more horses if we had more food. But sadly enough we don't, so... Not much we can do about that. This is a rainforest and it will become a swamp if cleared, which is good for ore. So I would be getting more ore there. Let's see here. Also becomes a swamp. Do all these things become swamps if I clear them? Becomes a swamp if cleared. Becomes a swamp if cleared. Alright, well I guess, yeah. Not a clue, but we'll see. So we have some uh, stuff on our merchantman, and I think I'll just be sending it back to Amsterdam to grab some uh, new things. Move to Amsterdam, yes. Pioneers clear the forest near New Amsterdam. 20 lumber added to stockpile. Alright, so finally cleared the forest. That's a good thing, I guess. So, oh, look, we got we got ore indeed. We got ore here. So right now, what did I do? All right, good. I wanna check it. Uh, can't can't check it. All right, let's go here. This would get ore miner one. Right now, this should get me four ore if I were to send the guy. If I were to send someone over there, I guess. Oh, or my nor mine I could just get two right now because I. And here, what does it say here? Or mine one, minerals three. So, um, oh no, I don't. He could get. He's getting five ore from there because plus three from the minerals and plus two because it's. And just the base of two because it's an ore miner. Right here we don't get one. Because it, it shows the plus three minerals, but you're not actually getting it yet because there's a forest on top, I guess. And that guy would still get one silver there. Why would he get one silver? Why would he be getting one silver from there? There's like no silver over there at all. doesn't show silver on this one either, but it's there, so... 
I guess you can make silver just from regular ores or something. It will just be in between the ores, no ID. Let's see if we could make this. Um, if we could turn them back into farmers because we want to make more horses. Right now we're getting five. Five uh, food over here. All right. Let's see, what can these guys do? Order, they could plow fields so we get more food. Probably want to plow fields around here. Fields, yes. Religious unrest in the Netherlands causes increased emigration. Colonists, indentured servants, now available in Amsterdam. No idea what they're good for, but we'll see can get them for free so it's always good and turn and turn the price of ore in Amsterdam has risen to three and turn the price of tobacco in Amsterdam has risen to four Cargo from the New World. Ah, we arrived. So we can sell this for 66 gold and we get we sell our silver for 171 gold. Quite a bit. And what is it these guys do? No idea, but I'll just take them. Let's see, what can we get here? Three colonists. Expert ore miners or pity criminals? Petty criminals. Uh, we want ore miners, we can get a lot of ore. Ah, well, we have money, I'll, I'll just do it, we'll see. No idea what it does. Recruit, purchase. No. Alright, you can set, ship, uh, set sail. Yes, steady as she goes. Go to New Amsterdam, please. The Aztec Empire. The Aztec tribe welcomes you. We are a glorious nation of three cities. To celebrate our friendship, we generously offer you the land you now occupy as a gift. Will you accept our treaty and live with us in peace and as brothers? Yes. The Aztecs welcome peace with our brothers the Dutch. Let us smoke a peace pipe to celebrate our perpetual friendship. We hope you will visit soon. Uh, we hope you will soon visit Aztec villages to share knowledge with us, and that you will send your wagon trains to trade with us. The price of cloth in Amsterdam has risen to twelve. Right, so these here are still clearing and plowing the land. And turn. The price of rum has in Amsterdam has risen to 14. The ship came back, you will be setting sail for New Amsterdam. The Aztecs see that your food stores are low this season. Our own harvest has been plentiful however, and we have come to share our bounty with you. We offer you a gift of 52 food in recognition of the everlasting peace between our peoples. Let us eat together and give thanks for our good fortune. Well, that's a lot of food. I like. I like it. The price of cloth in Amsterdam has, risen, has fallen to eleven. It has fallen. Oh no! Luckily, we're not producing cloth. So now we have a lot of food again. Pretty good. We have sixty-eight horses. End of turn. The price of rum in Amsterdam has fallen to 13. The price of cigars has risen to 10. Coats has risen to 11. A lot of stuff changing there. Alright, now let's go to our colony. We have some new people around here. We have... Endangered servants. Are people desiring to come to the new world but who cannot afford to pay their own way? They accordingly put themselves into bondage and agree to work off their passage in the new world. 
They, like pity criminals, are useful workers in the fields and mines, but are less productive than, productive than free colonists in manufacturing and processing jobs. But through education or military experience, they can become free colonists. Alright, so we can use them to get stuff for us. Great in the fields and mines, so we can get ore. We can, we can make them get some ore for us, and these were expert ore miner so yeah all right so let's see <coughs> normal people would be getting um, four or maximum a maximum of four or and our expert ore miners would be getting a maximum of 8 ore, which is a lot, alright, it, it just doubles, doubles the output you get from anywhere, that's pretty, pretty good, alright, we get six, 6 fruit from here now, alright, and you will be grabbing lumber for us because we want a lot of lumber lumber is good for making improvements building improvements and such what is it you were doing you were also getting food I guess but you will be you will become our carpenter I'm going to make you our carpenter let's go into the colony screen to the left uh, part of it because the carpenter shop is in there it will make three hammers a turn and that will cost us uh, cost us a little bit of uh, of wood, but that's not a big problem because we have a lot of wood. As you can see right now, we're losing one food a turn each turn because every um, every um, colonist will take two food two food each turn, I guess. So we have five colonists, which means we need ten food, and we only have nine each turn. Um, so let's just wrap up this turn and then it'll be time to stop the recording. We'll be making, we'll be building something. We will be building... What do we want to build? A lumber mill probably, just to increase our, uh, our wood production and such. Alright, we'll make our lumber mill. You can see right now we're not making any more horses because we don't have any food to uh, to breed them with. But we're still well, we're getting a lot of other stuff. So let's load load up our um, our ship. Nine silver. You can put it on there. Nine sugar. And then we will leave it. Oh no! Let's finish this first. Spice report. The Tupi massacre English colonists at Jamestown. English governor plans countermeasures. So, oh, the Tupi are a dangerous lot. They were so friendly to me. Those are Tupi. Well, alright, I guess um, next episode we will see what they will do then. Because this was the first episode of Sid Meier's colonization. I will see you next time. <laughs>